Okay, I was on my way this morning to go about two and a half hours down south and pick up what's called a hydraulic rock drill. Uh, for the last month or so, I've been watching this uh, this drill for sale on the internet that this guy claimed could drill uh, two, four, or six inch holes up to 200 feet deep. This morning I called the Idaho Department of Water uh, and started asking questions and I was kind of vague about where I was at and, and just to see the reaction and I told him that it was a uh, a ranch, a small ranch and I told her that it was a 40 acre ranch and asked if I could dig my own well. That was the exact verbiage that I used. And she said up to 18 feet. She said you can drill down 18 feet. And I asked her if uh, um, any deeper than that and she said it must be done by a certified well driller in the state of Idaho. Now it makes sense from a, from a plumbing standpoint the word cross-contamination is a dirty word literally and uh, it makes sense that drill, well drillers should have to be uh, he heavily certified, in my opinion, when they're going down six and seven hundred feet deep and they're near maybe a city aquifer or something like that. That makes cons complete sense. But out in the country where we're at, I, I wasn't sure if there were regulations on me uh, being able to drill my own well. It was basically just a manual drill. Uh, you would add the drill stem, I think it was ten feet sections, and he had two hundred feet worth of drill stem. So. Uh, I've been going back and forth. He was asking two thousand dollars, and I looked him up, and they're anywhere from, you know, the the, the next cheapest one I found was fourteen thousand dollars. And so I thought to myself, you know, if I could get this, uh, and I could make it work, if I was certain I could make it work, I could save myself a huge amount of money. Now I didn't ask any more questions because I didn't want to get in trouble, um, and I didn't want to raise a red flag. But naturally, it was it was a great thing that I asked these questions. Uh, before I went down and spent uh, you know two thousand dollars on a rock hammer drill and the frustrating part is the guy emailed me back and said he'd take twelve hundred bucks for it because he just wants to get rid of it and so there's part of me that goes well do we dare try this again do I dare try and and gamble again and and see if I can hit water at eighteen feet uh, or do I spend the fifteen to twenty thousand dollars for a well now I've got an estimate out right now I'm waiting for the uh, the, the local uh, well drilling company to give me an estimate back but the range is going to be at least fifteen to twenty thousand dollars up here. And again, the other issue is time. They're, they're, everybody is so bloody backed up right now; it's not even funny. Um, so I'm kind of back to trying to decide what to do. Um, I, uh, you know, there's part of me, part of this process of owning our own, ha our own house and building our own house is I've tried to create safety measures through the process. So, so in the very beginning, the, the owner of the land was carrying the note. We put down uh, about 10% and uh, she was carrying the note and um, as soon as we started building I didn't want her in the picture anymore. I don't know why that made me nervous. Uh, you know it was legal. There was nothing she could do to come and take this land but I felt that odds were better if I had it with a bank and so I went on this crusade of trying to find a bank that would finance our land and eventually found one. So now I have a bank in town that carries the remainder on this uh, the remainder of the note on our land but it's a five-year loan. And so we don't owe that much money, and so more than likely we're just going to attack it and pay it off. But it's a uh, an adjustable rate loan, so if I don't pay it off in a, in a pretty specific amount of time, the rate starts moving. And so I would love the idea of converting what we owe on the land over to a mortgage, but the bank won't loan on this land as a mortgage if we don't have a well. And so I, I'm kind of back to square one where I'm thinking about um, doing what I need to do to satisfy the bank. Um, I also want to have a consistent water supply that I don't have to worry about. Now I've talked about this idea of about 150 feet away, more, more like 200 feet away. Uh, there's a spring, but it's not on my land. And uh, the idea that uh, uh, my neighbor, who happens to be one of my best friends, is willing to let me use his spring, um, it may end up having to, to, we may end up having to do that. Um, but I don't like it. I don't like the idea of, of using water from somebody else's land. And there's also water rights that come with, with spring issues. And so um, there is a, a little spring. Uh, there's water running everywhere right now. And there's, there's every year we have this one spot that runs off the mountain uh, about 200 feet down from my property. It's not on my property line. But I'm almost positive that it goes up through my property. And I've tried to find the source of its, its runoff. But I also believe it's a great spot for a pond, uh, in which I'm going to, now that I have the excavator, I can put that pond in. Uh, but the, um, 
I guess my overall point is, what am I willing to do to, to get living up here? Do I want to haul water up here? And the answer is no, not at all. Um, do I want to pump water out of the creek to a storage tank? Uh, that's an option, and I may consider that option. I may, I'm, I may actually end up doing that. Um, the, um, the, but I'll have to filter it and filter it very well because we know that, that there's, there's potential issues with that, that uh, creek water. The spring is probably one of the best options, but again, I don't like the idea of, of using uh, something that's technically not mine. Um, so I'm, I'm almost back to square one again. Um, regardless, if I had fifteen to twenty thousand dollars to spend on the well, um, I can't uh, I can't drill it right now anyway. Um, I don't have the funds to spend on that. I've got to use that money to finish the house. I've got to use that money to, to pour concrete. I've got to use that money to finish the solar system. And so it's just like one step forward, two steps back. And so I would strongly recommend, if you're in a similar situation to myself, I would strongly recommend determining if your state requires a well driller's license in order to drill a well uh, other than a shallow well. And I would bet that you'll find out that almost all of them do.